This kid, stop licking yourself because you're on camera and you're making gross noises. Hi guys, today I'm so excited for this video because I'm going to be showing you probably the cutest makeup I've ever seen in my entire life. It's by a brand called Paul and Joe Cosmetics and you've probably seen some pictures of them online. They're the makeup brand that has like the cat lipsticks and the cat blushes and I have never seen anyone review Paul and Joe Cosmetics on YouTube or online or really anything so I wanted to buy some of it so that I can show you how it works see if it's just cute and it doesn't really work or maybe it's really good makeup. So if you want to see if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down, then just keep watching. So the first makeup product that I'm going to try out from this line is called their Perfect Makeup Primer. And I just love the packaging that everything comes in. I just think it's so cute and vintagey. So I got the shade 02. This line doesn't really have a ton of color options, but this is what it looks like. All of their packaging, guys, is just, mm, it couldn't be better. I love their packaging so much. So I'm guessing this is just going to be a clear primer. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it actually has some color to it. So let me try that on my face. Hmm, That's so weird that it has color to it because I feel like usually makeup primers are just kind of clear. So that's pretty interesting. So I'm just going to rub that in with my fingers. So this primer actually does have a little bit of coverage in it. I feel like this would be nice for a day that you don't really feel like wearing um, like proper foundation. This would just be easy and fast to throw on. And it feels really soft on my skin. It sank in really fast. So that's really nice. So the next thing I got is the foundation. This is the Paul and Joe Silky Smooth Foundation. And this one also has SPF in it. And this one has SPF 28. And I made a big mistake with this one because it is way, way too light for my skin. So I got the shade 101. And again, they don't really have a huge variety of colors. So I didn't really know which one to get. And this is just way too light so I'm not going to be able to use the foundation but just from putting it on my hand it seems like it has like a nice texture to it it's not too like sticky or thick but I can't really tell you guys how it works because it would make me look like a ghost so today for my foundation I'm just going to be mixing my favorite Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'll be able to see if the primer makes it go on any different than it usually does because I use this foundation every single day so I honestly feel like my foundation looks really, really nice right now, like almost more just even than it usually does. And I think that is because of the primer, which is really cool. So I think I'm definitely going to keep using this. It's really nice. And it also is going to have your SPF in it. So that's nice too. So I would give this a thumbs up for right now. Paul and Joe did not have a concealer that I could find. So I'm just going to be using my good old Naked Skin by Urban Decay Concealer and I'm using the color Light Neutral. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is set my face with some powder. So it came in this huge box, way, way bigger than I was expecting. Like, as big as my face. And this is what the powder container looks like. It's this huge glorious powder box that you just put on your vanity and it comes off like that and then it has a little powder puff and it's just so dang cute. I know that this packaging isn't for everybody but grandma vintagey cute girly packaging is totally my style. Another thing about Paul and Joe is that you usually buy the container and the product separately so then when you run out of the product you just have to buy the refill which is really nice. And it honestly smells a little bit like a grandma, but you know, like a trendy grandma, like a grandma that wears like kind of young perfume, but is still a grandma. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a little bit of this powder on this powder puff. I'm feeling very much like a lady and I'm just going to dot that all over my face. It just feels very nice, like I'm patting a bunny all over my face. So I really, really like this powder. It's making my skin feel so soft. Um, the one thing that's bad about this, I guess, is that you can't travel with it because it would explode everywhere. But if you're looking for just the cutest little powder to put on your desk, this one is so nice. Paul and Joe didn't have any bronzer, so I'm just going to be using 
um, Benefits Hula. This is one that I use all the time and I love it so much. Okay, so the next product might be the cutest out of everything. It's this blush and it has these little cats all over it. I'll make sure to zoom in so you guys can really see what it looks like, but it's just so cute. It makes me so happy looking at it. So this is what it looks like and when you open it up, it has a little puff with a yellow bow on it. And then on the inside, it's these little balls that have actual cat figurines in them. So the little cats inside are actually blush. I mean, it just can't get any cuter than that, I don't think. I'm gonna take this on my favorite blush brush and that is the IT Cosmetics blush brush and I'm gonna pop that on my cheeks. Whoa, seems very pigmented. Oh, it also smells like um, a grandma. That's actually really nice. This is definitely not a matte blush. It's definitely satin, which I don't mind. I just don't really like glitter in my blush, but satin I can do. And I feel like this blush just makes your cheeks look so cute and rosy. And I didn't apply it with the little puff it came with just because I thought that that might make it just too much everywhere blush, and that's not really the look I'm going for. So I'm just gonna tuck the cats back in to sleep. Next, I'll move on to highlighter because I was very surprised that Paul and Joe had a highlighter. Again, it came in two separate things, so I got the compact separately from the actual product. So this is what the highlighter compact looks like. Again, it has little cats on it and it's just so cute. It looks so retro. The inside looks like this. I'm a little bit nervous of this highlighter to be honest because it looks very shimmery and like, ugh, I don't know. So I'm just gonna take the Morphe M310 brush and get a little bit of that on there. And let's hope this isn't horrible. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it because it has a white base. You can see here, it's just completely white. And then it has a glitter overlay. Like, you know how sometimes products just have a really shimmery top and then once you swatch it, the shimmers are all gone because it was just a spray over. And the next product I have is the Waterproof Eyebrow Liner. So this is what it looks like. And it actually comes without a top, which I was kind of surprised about, but it just has a super, super fine tip. And this one is in the shade 02. You kind of have to push hard to get anything to come out, which isn't a horrible thing with brow products, but mm, I usually just like to use powder because I'm not even very good at doing my eyebrows. So these are the eyebrows all filled in. I would have to say, mm, if you really, really like super, super precise tipped um, eyebrow pencils, you would like this. And it does say it's waterproof, so if that's true, that would be really nice because it would last a long time. But for me, I'm not a super huge fan of eyebrow pencils in general, so I would have to say, mm, no, I'm probably not gonna use it a ton. So I also got a liquid eyeliner from Paul and Joe, and it's the liquid eyeliner in the shade 01. I think that this is a brown one, but I love the packaging of this. It has a really nice light pink top with gold accents, and that's just my favorite. It is going on really smoothly. It's a super, super fine tip, and it's so, so dark. I can't really tell that it's brown, but I think that it is because that's the color of the cap. Okay, so I finished my liquid eyeliner, and I feel like this is a really good liquid eyeliner. I'll have to see how it lasts throughout the day, but for right now, it's good. And last but not least, I have two lipsticks here that I wanted to show you guys, and the packaging that they have for the lipsticks are so cute and I've seen pictures of Paul and Joe Cosmetics before and they had cat shaped lipsticks but I couldn't find any online so I was kind of sad about that. But the first lipstick case I got is Tom and Jerry themed and it's so dang cute and Tom and Jerry was my childhood so I had to get this one. And the lipstick I got is kind of a corally shade. Again, they come separately so I already put it in its tube. I also got this lipstick case and it has some like vintagey flowers on it. I love this case so much. And the color that's in it is more of like a mauve color. The first one I'll put on is the coral one. Oh. Hmm. 
So this lipstick feels really, really nice on your lips. And see this sharp edge that it has at the top? It actually works so well at going around your lips. I wish that all lipsticks had this tip because it's so nice. Uh, this lipstick isn't super like pigmented. It's not like all full coverage right when you swipe it on your lips, but it is a really pretty just glossy, moisturizing coral lipstick. So I really like this one. And the second one I'll try is this mauve one. And this one has the same moisturizing feeling as the other one, and it feels really nice. Again, it's not like a crazy lip color, but I feel like I would wear both of these on a day-to-day -day basis just because they're super easy and comfortable. So I would give the lipsticks a thumbs up. I would have to say, first and foremost, the reason that I wanted to even try this makeup is the packaging. and. The packaging gets a 10 out of 10 from me. I love it. I think it's so cute. I think it's unique. I never see any makeup brands doing makeup quite as cute as Paul and Joe Cosmetics. So I would definitely say that it is something that sets it apart and that I really, really enjoy about it. Um, I would say that the overall application of everything was also really good. Uh, I really liked the makeup primer because I think it was kind of different than what makeup primers usually are just because it gave me a little bit of extra coverage and that's really nice. I also really love the powder. I just love how it's huge and it's kind of like a decoration for your vanity. I would say my last thing that was kind of like my favorite were the lipstick just because I can see myself wearing these all the time. They're really comfortable and cute. <gasps> Yay, Biscuit is finally making an appearance. <gasps> Say hello, Biscuit. He never comes in videos anymore, but here he is. This is my cat, Biscuit, for those of you who don't know. <sighs> I really do hope that you guys thought this video was helpful. I have never seen anybody talk about Paul and Joe Cosmetics, so hopefully it was. And if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye!